So, thank you for coming. We're just around the corner from the club, Chelsea, where you spent seven really happy years. We're not too far from the club now, Fulham, where you're having an unbelievable renaissance. But I wanted to start by talking about the city, because you love London, don't you? And you feel really at home here. Tell us about how that began. So, first of all, it's my, my pleasure to be here, to talk with you, and... Uh... Do, you, do you mean that? <laughs> <laughs> so, London is my, it's my home. Uh, I love the city. I love some some places, you know, and uh, the most uh, seven seven years at Chelsea was I was very happy there, and uh, I won I won a lot of trophies, and uh, you did. yeah, <laughs> so it was a uh, seven special years for me, and yeah, and uh, so my family loves London. I have a, a British passport as well, and. Uh, uh, so I feel like I'm, I'm a Londoner, you know. <laughs> well, you are. Yeah, and now at Fulham, I'm really happy, you know, playing good, playing good football, and uh, yeah, I'm so happy to be back in in London. So you said you got some favourite parts. What bits of the city do you really enjoy? Um, yeah, Chelsea uh, and Knightsbridge, one of the the best, uh, you know, parts of London that I. I love so. But is it restaurants, parks, cafes? You know, is it, I guess you're well beyond being a Londoner, a proper Londoner. You're well beyond, you know, museums and the London Eye and stuff like that. Yeah, I have a lot, a lot of you know, shopping and uh, cafe stuff like this that you can sit and have a coffee with your family. Um, you know, that's, mo that's the most important thing for me to spend a good time with with my family and. Sometimes with friends as well. Is London as well a city that, like, some places are so football mad, which is great, but it must be quite intense for a f to be a footballer there. Does London give you a little bit of anonymity? It almost it's so big it, in a weird way. It gives you privacy back. Yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel that you know, I can in London you can go around, you can walk around. And people. And this is the camera following you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people recognize you, but. They respect your your time with your family, you know. Sometimes, sometimes they ask for a picture or stuff like this, and but it's it's different, you know. So different. For example, in Brazil, it's more people. It's more crazy. They come. They yeah. ask for photos all the time. And uh, that's London, what you're saying. If you lose, yeah, you can't leave the house. Ah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. It's different. London is different. Yeah. Okay. And so you've got. Am I right? Twin girls. Yeah, I have twin girls, yeah. And were they, because you, you came here 10 years ago, and they're about 10, aren't they? So were they born in London? Is it, are uh, they, they... Actually, they born in Brazil. Right. And they arrived here when they was one, one and a half years. Right. So old, and uh, yeah, but they are, they are more English than, <laughs> than Brazilian. So I suppose, is that part of what makes it feel like a home as well? You know, for good things, bad things, on the pitch, off the pitch. Like your life, big bits of your life have happened here. Yeah, um, you know, sometimes we had a sometimes bad, uh, bad days, and this, this, is, this is normal, you know. Sometimes you don't have a, a great day inside the pitch or whatever. In, sometimes in training as well, but uh, you have the city. Some, you know, you can enjoy. You can sometimes forget a little bit about football when when you have a day days off, you know because you have so much to do in London. You have a lot of things to do. You can go wherever you want. <laughs> and with friends, with your family as well, and uh, enjoy the city. So I'm doing that a lot. And your girls love it as well? They love you it. They was missing, they was missing London so much. When you, were back, when you went back to Brazil? Yeah, 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 they was missing London. They was, they was like, Asking me, ah, Daddy, I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back. I want to go back to London. Yeah, they was missing a lot. So, have you had any luck? Because I remember interviewing you after the Chelsea game at Stamford Bridge, and they're Chelsea fans, obviously, because they love their dad and they saw their dad growing up playing in blue. Have you been able to convert them yet? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are Chelsea girls. <laughs> okay. They love Chelsea. They love Chelsea. Do they? They love Chelsea. So who's their favourite player now? Oh, hang on a sec, was it ever you? 
Uh, I'm guessing when you played for Chelsea, you were their favourite Chelsea player. Uh, yeah, but Hazard, okay. also. Um, David Luiz, uh, Tony Hudiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of players, but uh, they, they love Chelsea. When Chelsea is playing, they, they stop to watch, you know. Okay. Yeah. So they're not too happy this season, even though it's going great for you and Fulham. They're probably a bit disappointed <laughs> about what's happening at Stamford Bridge. When we play, yeah, when we play against Chelsea, and the day before I ask them, which team you, you're going to support tomorrow? They say, Daddy, I'm sorry, but we're going to support Chelsea, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I say, no, you have to support Fulham because Daddy plays for Fulham now. Yeah. They say, uh, Daddy, we want you to play well, we want you to score, but we, we're, going, we're going to support Chelsea, sorry. So you, so you weren't in trouble for scoring then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's, it's funny, it's funny, yeah. And you said, like, right back at the start of the interview, you've got your British passport now. What, what was that like? Did you have to do the citizenship test and stuff like that? Did yeah. You? How was that? I did it. It was hard. It was... Um, I have to, you know, I had a book. Yeah. Every day I was reading this book and doing the test by my like, phone and like in, practice. in the app. Yeah, 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 yeah. practice, you know, every day, every day. Yeah. And the first two. Yeah. I Failed. didn't. I, yes. So you've quite, what do you have to get? You have to get quite a high percentage. So there is, um, there was like 24 questions. Yeah. You can miss just six, so right. yeah. it was hard. But the, the third one, uh, yeah, <laughs> I got it. Oh, well done, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did that mean a lot to you? It means a lot. Yeah. It's a, for me, it's a key uh, that money cannot buy, you know, something like this. In life, sometimes money cannot buy, you know, some, some things. And to have this passport, for me, it means a lot. Yeah. A part of me wants to ask you what some of the questions were. The other part thinks I'm going to get them wrong. <laughs> Go on, do you remember any of the questions? Uh, I remember that I, when I was practicing, you know, sometimes when I was at Chelsea, during the, when I was doing my recovery uh, massage, something like this, and yeah. uh, I was practicing, you know, and I showed some questions to one of the physios, yeah. you know. One of the English guys. Yeah, one yeah. of the English guys, and I show them. I know. I say, do you know this? Yeah. He say, no. I do wonder I say, <laughs> how many people born in England yeah, yeah, would struggle yeah. or Britain. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, it was hard, but at the end, yeah, I got it. So you love the city now. You're a Londoner. It's your home. But I wanted to go back. So you came first came to England ten years ago, or even actually, let's go back even further. When you first leave Brazil for Ukraine, you're a teenager. What is that like? Because at that point, you can't possibly imagine what's going to unfold. Yeah, actually, it wasn't, you know, daunting. Wasn't scary. the place that I really want to go uh, to Ukraine. Um, when I was growing up, when I was, you know, playing, when I had a, you know, dream to become a professional football football player. Uh, always was my dream. Always was to play in uh, Spain, England, Italy. You know, yeah, yeah. this kind of this kind of <coughs> places. And when I had the offer from Shakhtar, the first two or three, I said no with my my family. My dad said no. No, we don't want to go there. And they still, you know, insist. No, just listen to us. We want to talk. We want to to show you guys that. Uh, we have a great, um, uh, great, uh, you know, plan. Mm. You know, we play Champions League every year. Mm. So, yeah, and then we decide to to go to Ukraine to to have a look, just to have a look, to talk and to feel, you know. Yeah. And then, yeah, I arrived there. We stayed there three three days, looking, looking places, looking the training ground, yeah. the new stadium, and yeah, walking around. At that time, it was very hot. It was a little, a little tricky, you know. They caught, they caught you in the <laughs> summer, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and then I, I decided to, to accept the the offer, you know, from them. It was uh, a good decision, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it was a good decision. We had a good team, we had a good players. Um, 
playing every year Champions League and yeah, it was a good decision for me. When you came to England, was it always going to be London and was it always going to be Chelsea? In fact, I know it wasn't because you were, you yeah. were halfway through so signing for Tottenham, weren't you? When I, <laughs> when I was at Shakhtar, um, 2011, more or less, uh, we, we got an offer from, from Chelsea. And Shakhtar say, say no, three times, uh, I think. And after that, I start to, to see, you know, every Chelsea game. And it was always my dream. I want to go to Chelsea, I want to go to Chelsea. Okay. It's the only team that I want to go. I want to, to live in London, I want to go to Chelsea, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was, um, uh, Chelsea at the moment had a drug bar, JT, yeah. Lampard. Yeah. All their shirts are hanging all, up down there. Yeah, all the star players, you know, all good players. Mm -hmm. And I say, I want to play, you know, I, I want to play with them, I want to play with them. Yeah. And then uh, Chelsea didn't, didn't, uh, they stopped, mm. you know, the, yeah, yeah. To, to talk with Shakhtar. Mm. And uh, yeah, and then I went to Wanzi. Mm -hmm. I went to Wanzi in 2013, I, uh, in January 2013. I signed with them four years. Um, so when you sign four years, you didn't expect to leave after six months, months later, you yeah. know, so. Yeah, I signed four years, I was happy. I was playing with Eto, yeah. uh, Lassana Diara. Yeah, they had a good project as well. And after six months, the, the owner of the club decided to, you know, he got some problem. He decided to sell the, the players, you know. And then we start to, Kia start to negotiate, negotiate with some clubs. In with England. your agent? Yeah. yeah, Liverpool, Tottenham, mm. Chelsea again. Man in so, the world. but Chelsea wasn't sure at that moment, and then I we agree, you know, with with Tottenham. But at the end, uh, Chelsea came, and I decided to go to Chelsea. So, how close were you at Tottenham? Because you were at the training ground, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went, but at that day when I went there, even even I everything was ready mm. to sign, but my mind was. I wasn't sure, you know. Right. So, of course, play for Tottenham is a big club, England Premier League. But my mind was was I was thinking about Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. And then the phone rang. And then Chelsea came and say, "It's uh, I have to go there." And, so you there, know? there was no no I'm here already. This looks like a good project. It was the moment you heard. I, I presume it's Kia who says to you, "Chelsea come back," and there's no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. No, that I just say I want to go to Chelsea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, listen, didn't it work incredibly well? What are seven years? Amazing, amazing. I think it was the the best choice of my my career. No doubt about that, because seven incredible years there and uh, won a lot of trophies. Um, you know, I love the people there. I have great friends. And the fans always, from the first day I arrived there, they always, you know, have a great, you know, uh, relation, you know, like, yeah, uh, yeah. so it was, was, was very good. It was a strange time though, wasn't it? Because, I mean, all, I don't know, for most people, it's all they can really remember Chelsea being like, but it was up and it was down, it was up and it was down. It was very intense. Yeah, Chelsea's a club that it's always, they always will find a way to, to win something. Mm. Even sometimes if things don't, don't go, you know, at the right way, but they find a way to, you know, to win something. It uh, doesn't matter who is the, the manager. I mm -hmm. uh, have been seeing that a couple of, you know, 10 years, yeah. you know, Chelsea changed manager, but still, you know, they're still winning trophies. And Why do you think that is? What is that? Why can they do that and no one else can? I don't, I don't know. I think uh, it's a massive club, and yeah. uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> no, that, no, I get it. You know, yeah. but uh, yeah, Chelsea is, the, is a club that, for example, now the things don't don't go the in the way they want to go, but sometimes they change like this. And suddenly they win in midweek. Yeah, 
yeah. and then they, for example, they go to the same final Champions League, mm. you know, and then maybe arrive to the final again. Yeah. And uh, so it's like this, Chelsea is like this. When I think of you in a Chelsea shirt, I suppose, I think I said to you off camera, I think of you bearing down on goal at the Etihad, that huge win uh, under Conte when you won the league. For you, you know, favourite memory, what would it be at Chelsea? Uh, favorite memories. Um, this one was one of them mm. for sure. I remember this game was. Um, it's always hard to play against City, especially when we play there. Yeah. You know. So this game was um, was a good one for us, for Chelsea. Um, yeah, I, I, I came on from the bench. I helped the team to to win the game. And uh, yeah, it was a was a good memory. Do you sort of wish you never left? Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I never left. Yeah. It's it, of course it's easy to say now something. Yeah. But um, yeah, when I've stopped thinking, you know, to think about all the situation, yeah, I say to myself, yeah, I wish I never left, you know. So, but it's life. It's yeah. life, and uh, I'm happy now. I'm at Fulham, so I enjoy myself there, and this is life. All careers do that, right, as well, don't they? Yeah. None of them straightforward. Of course, of course. And uh, God knows everything, and this is this is the part of the life, you know. Why do you think it didn't work at Arsenal? Since you're playing them this weekend, I just think of the way that team plays under Mikel Arteta and think you'd have been perfect, even now. Yeah, they, they are. They are flying, eh? Yeah. They are flying now. And, uh, Why didn't it work for you? I don't know. I think um, because it was in the, the middle of the, you know, it was changing a lot. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't have answer to say why it, mm. it didn't work. And uh, I was excited when I, when I signed with them. And I was, you know, um, training hard and the same the same way that I, when I was at Chelsea but it just doesn't work and that's it yeah I suppose one thing um, that I always think back to and, and did when I was getting ready for this interview you left with um, I think a lot of credit and a lot of honor was it two years of your contract you said no I'll, I'll just it's best for both if I go yeah I think uh, any other player in my situation Sit on the bench. Yeah, yeah, sit on the contract and yeah. got the money, and uh, because I had a, a great, uh, you know, a good contract there, and and people were saying to me, "Are you crazy? Yeah. You know, you're gonna let this money like this? You're crazy? You blah blah blah? You know?" Were these people close to you saying? Yeah. But what, people right, close who, to me. Yeah. Who's, who's, who's <laughs> saying this? It's better not to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but it's friends really, and yeah. family, and you know. So they were they were saying that because yeah. uh, I was 32. Yeah. So how are you gonna do that? You crazy? You let this money like this? No, yeah. you you know. Yeah, yeah. So but. Uh, why did you, why did you decide differently? It's um, sometimes it's not about money. You know, yeah. it's about getting pleasure every day. And I wasn't I wasn't glad getting pleasure there. And um, I decided to you know to leave the money and. You know, to leave the club. Last question before we get to Fulham. I presume when you left Arsenal and London for Brazil, you thought that was your forever, you and your family going home and, and you would stay in Brazil? Actually, I, I, when I, I always, I was always saying that, that I, I don't want to, I don't want to go to Brazil, I don't want to come back to Brazil, I want to stay in Europe. But when I was in this situation with Arsenal, and uh, I started to speak with Corinthians in Brazil, I started to get excited, you know, because mm. it was my, my team that I, yeah. uh, I, I always support when I was a kid. Uh, my family support Corinthians, and uh, yeah, I was getting excited. And I said to myself, maybe it's a good opportunity to come back and uh, to play there and, you know, to feel again come back to Brazil after four, 14, f 15 years in Europe mm. and uh, maybe it's a good opportunity and then I decide to go. Yeah and you mean you've you're clearly a big family man you've spoken a lot about your family in this interview was that the reason 
where you had to come back to England, it, it didn't work for your family in Brazil? Yeah, yeah. Maybe even wasn't safe? Because we always, well, I, I left Brazil in 2007, and then I always went to Brazil when I had holidays. Yeah. And it's different when you live there and when you have holidays there. So, you know, so I always have holidays. You spend 15 days, 20 days, see friends, mm. families, and leave again, go to, you know, come back to Europe. So now after f 15 years in Europe, I went to live there. It was different, you know, it was completely different and it was, it was so difficult for me and for my family as well. So how did this move happen? Back to West London, but to Fulham this time? It was amazing. Um, I, I, I thank God every day. I think, you know, the way the, the Fulham people, they, you know, welcome me there and uh, it was amazing. People that works in the club, um, the fans, everything. So it's a club that want to, you know, to, to achieve something important. And uh, yeah, it, it's amazing to, to be back in, you know, in Premier League and play for Fulham now. Are you enjoying your football as much as you ever have? Yeah, I'm enjoying a lot because I know I have uh, maybe four or five years more. And Four or five years more? Uh, so I wish. <laughs> do you want to say your age now? <laughs> 34. So you, you're thinking... I, you, yeah. What, you think you Premier League for another four or five years? I don't know if Premier League, but I, I wish, yes. You yeah. know, so I want to to enjoy myself every single day because I have four years, five years playing football and I have to to enjoy as much as I can, you know, because when you stop, you stop. Yeah. So I have to enjoy it a lot and I am, I am doing that. I'm enjoying, I uh, go to training ground with a smile on my face and uh, enjoy myself inside the pitch with my teammates and yeah, it has been good. Do you know what, sometimes I uh, like interview footballers, speak to footballers and wonder like, how much they love or how much they enjoy being footballers. Well, one thing's clear, speaking to you, you, like, you still love football, I guess, as much as you did when you were six or seven and you started kicking a ball for the first time. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> I love football. Um, this is, is my, it's my life, you know. It's the only thing that I, I know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, football is, um, is my life and uh, I love it, I love it. Was it important to you after the last couple of years? Does it mean a lot to you, to the way you've come back and shown your level, you've shown what a good player you are again? Yeah, I'm happy because of that. Not because I have to prove to anyone, and, but I just have to prove to myself that I, I can, that, I, you know, doesn't matter the age, but I can, I can continue to play at a high level and, yeah, I'm really, really happy and I want to continue, I want to keep improving myself every day, every game and yes, I'm going for it. The club are also going for it. What do you think is possible this season for Fulham, given the position you put yourselves in? Uh, we dream, we have a dream to, you know, to put Fulham at the best position we can and uh, we have to go step by step, game by game and uh, we are going to see at the end of the season which position we're gonna we're gonna finish. But I think we we have a, a good team to to finish well the season. You know, to still playing well and uh, to do something good. And for you, when you do finally stop, when you're 38, 39, who knows? Maybe even 40. Maybe yeah. What's next? <laughs> what's next for you? What's life after football look like? You're gonna stay in London. You're a Londoner. You've got your passport. What are you gonna do with it? Yeah, I already start to plan it and I want to become an Asian, you know, I want to become an Asian. Um, I want to still involve in football, you know. Um, yeah, I think it will be Agent, Agent William. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way to end. Good luck to Agent William. Thank you so much. Thanks for your Thank time. You so Thank you. Thank you so much.